sorry guys, I just moved and I'm in the process of unpacking everything. That's why the background is a bit different. But nonetheless, the Galaxy S22 just got announced and I pre-ordered one. I can't wait to review it and show it off on the channel, but until then, I thought I'd recreate Samsung's One UI interface on my Pixel device. You know, get a quick taste of what I'm about to switch to. I'll also bring you guys along for the ride and help you also get that Galaxy experience. We'll transform that home screen, use some of those leaked Galaxy S22 live wallpapers, and even show off some apps that replicate some of those exclusive One UI features. It's gonna be a good video, so instantly drop a thumbs up to show your support on the channel, and let's jump right in. Starting with the home screen, Samsung's One UI Home has always been a bit of a rebel. Typical Android launchers have that vertical app drawer, but not Samsung. They only let you have a horizontal app drawer. For icons, instead of circles, One UI uses rounded squares, and all of their new Android 12 widgets are rounded rectangles. Not really following Google's Material U design. You either love One UI's home screen or hate it. There's no in between. And surprisingly, it was pretty tough to replicate since a few weeks ago, there were no widget packs in the Play Store that replicated those One UI widgets. Luckily, I was still able to recreate the Samsung home screen, and here is how I did it. For the launcher, I had to go with the one and only Lova launcher. I mean, you can't beat the extreme customization. Like One UI Home, I made it so that the app drawer has a horizontal scroll. I also included tiny circles for the page indicators, a neat animation where the icons zoom in whenever you swipe up to go into the app drawer, I installed the Nova Companion app to get that Google Feed panel on the leftmost screen. And since One UI Home has a universal search bar, I used an app called Sesame to let me have a universal search within Nova Launcher. I did a few more extra edits, but I don't want to bore you with the details. Instead, I'll include my Nova backup file right below the like button so that you can download it and apply it to your launcher. Now those Samsung widgets were tough to replicate since like I said before, no developers had actually replicated them on the Play Store. So with the help of an awesome designer called Icarus, the same person who created my beautiful YouTube banner, he replicated many of those One UI 4.0 widgets and packed them all within a KWGT app called Uno. It comes packed with more than 15 widgets to choose from, including several weather widgets, the Samsung internet search bar, the clock, picture widget, device care, notes, the steps count, and even one of the calendar widgets. There are also a few extras that aren't Samsung related, but still fit in perfectly with the overall theme. Things like a YouTube subscriber tracker, a news widget, another for Twitter, and more. My favorite part about Uno though, is that you can change the colors of each one easily through the global section of the KWGT settings. You can even have them follow the colors of your wallpaper. It's a fantastic widget pack, and as far as I'm aware, the only One UI 4.0 widget pack on the Play Store. If you follow me over on my Twitter and Instagram at HowToMan, I'll be giving away 50 promo codes so that you can download it for free. The only thing missing though from Uno KWGT is this Samsung calendar widget, so I decided to create that one myself. I'll leave that KWGT widget as a download link right below the like button. For the icons, I use a pack called One UI Icon Pack, which costs a dollar, but it's the most accurate app that replicates those Samsung icons. Plus it also themes thousands of other apps to give it a Samsung makeover. But if you'd rather use something free, you can instead use their other icon pack that just so happens to have the same title, One UI Icon Pack. This one actually supports a ton more icons and still replicates those Samsung icons well. It's just missing a few Samsung ones. Finally, for the wallpaper, I used some leaked ones that supposedly come from the Galaxy S22 series. The live wallpapers even got leaked and XDA developers provided the video files on their website. So what I did after I downloaded them is I used an app called Video to Wallpaper to set them as my background. It worked like a charm and it made my home screen look so magnificent. Definitely recommend. If you'd rather go for a static background so that you don't waste a bunch of battery, I'll leave a link to download all those Galaxy S22 walls for free as static wallpapers. So that's it for the home screen. The end result could look something like this if you use the apps and walls that I recommended. Samsung software also has many exclusive features that are very useful, especially within their GoodLock app, but unfortunately, you can't replicate all of them. Still, I'll show off some alternative apps to help you get some of those features. Before I do though, I wanted to give a shout out to Fly for sponsoring this video. Fly is a social media app that takes it to a new level. Instead of just having an endless boring feed, you get immersed into a 3D map of your own city. And tapping on any building, house, monument, or place will bring up a feed of videos or pictures explaining different stories, experiences, or events that took place or are about to take place at that specific location. Plus, anyone can comment back on the postings and drop a thumbs up. It's a pretty spectacular way of helping bring people together. To post your own experience, you just choose a location, drop a pin, and start writing. It can either be a public post 
or a friends post where only your added friends can see it. You can even select a post within a friend's wall where you can discuss specific topics such as a place where you guys want to visit or an event you guys are planning to attend. If you create your own friends wall, you have the option to select the friends that are allowed to be in it, where the location is, and what the subject should be about. Overall, this is by far the most unique social media app out there with a 3D map that is even better than what Google or Apple provides. Fly is even giving away a PlayStation 5 and a $200 Visa gift card when you post your best image or video of your favorite place with the hashtag, I love this place. The post with the most likes wins. If you'd like to join in on the fun, Fly is free to download through the link in the description. Anyways, within the GoodLock app, there's an add-on called QuickStar, which lets you customize your status bar and quick settings panel. It lets you remove any system icons within your status bar, including the mobile data, alarm, NFC, VPN, etc. Comes in handy if your status bar gets frequently overcluttered. Well, you can do the same thing by downloading an app called Activity Launcher. Within it, you just search for System UI Demo Mode. Then you tap on the three dots, create shortcut, and then add it to your home screen. Open that shortcut, and then within the status bar menu, you can disable a majority of your system icons. Simple and very useful. Samsung's Good Lock app also has an add-on called Edge Touch, which prevents unintended screen touches simply by blocking the touch screen on the edges of the screen. Extremely handy if your phone has a waterfall display. Well, Edge Block is an app that lets you do the exact same thing. You can even customize the size of the blocked area and block even more edges of the screen depending on your phone's orientation. An extremely famous Samsung feature that has been around for ages is Edge Panels. It's a sidebar that pops up when you swipe on the edge of the screen and is filled with some handy panels. Things like your favorite apps, the weather, compass, clipboard, etc. You can even download more panels from the Galaxy Store. The possibilities are endless. Unfortunately, no app on the Play Store though even comes close to working as well as what Samsung provides. But the closest app that I could find that will give you a similar experience that isn't complete garbage is called One Edge. It provides a good amount of panels, including a compass, the news, digital well-being stats, some of your favorite apps, contacts, and a lot more. It works very well and is free to download with no ads or in-app purchases. Samsung's volume controls don't have the previous design, especially when expanding it, but you can still replicate it on any phone with an app called Volume Styles. All it takes is a few permissions, and then you select the One UI 3 style to enable it. Very simple and it works amazingly. There are a few additional buttons thrown in there, but overall, the similarities are incredibly close. Finally, if you'd like to take it a step further, you can even replicate One UI status bar by using Super Status Bar. It gives you the same system icons and still shows you all of your incoming notifications. Within the app, you just give it a few permissions and then choose One UI as the style. It works beautifully, but the only reason I don't use it is because the status bar isn't transparent. It's not the app's fault by any means, it's just an Android limitation. Super Status Bar tries to solve this by having the notification bar color match the app that you're using. And for the home screen, I would just use an AMOLED background and change the color of the status bar to black to hide it as best as possible. Anyways, that's how you can give your Android the Galaxy experience it deserves. If you found this video to be helpful, a quick thumbs up will go a long way to helping this video get noticed by the YouTube algorithm. If you know of any other apps to help replicate that One UI interface, please let us know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to favorite it if it's a fantastic recommendation. If you haven't gotten subscribed yet either, what are you waiting for? Quality videos like this are a weekly thing on the channel and you're not gonna wanna miss out. Either way, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!